Stellar Blade is just one of those games that you guys just got to try out for the culture, man. Stellar Blade is this upcoming action adventure game developed by Shift Up and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. The game is scheduled to be released on PlayStation 5 exclusively on April 26th. 2024 i got a chance to get my hands on this demo you guys and i love this demo love this demo you know you know i like to start with my basically my review from the start i loved it and i'm gonna get to why i love it and why i didn't like some of the things um when it comes to first of all aesthetic what you know, everybody just knows when you look at something it's just gotta be aesthetically pleasing uh, i'm not talking about her stop i'm talking about the game guys no seriously yes no she's a beautiful character very well designed very well looking um very good looking but uh aside from all of that the world that they're building the aesthetic of the sci-fi-esque uh alien um i don't know i actually don't know what to call it it's more to me like a Again, I'm, I'm more new to these styles of, of games, so forgive me for quoting this, but it gives me more like a female version, futuristic version of Bloodborne or something like that, or uh, I, I was another game that I hear it can be compared to. Again, I'm not, I'm uncultured in this aspect, so let, please bear with me. But with that being said, I did, when I tried out this demo, I spent, I think about two, two or three hours on it. And I uh, went going back through the story and everything, trying to do the harder dif difficulties and everything. And with all that being said, I just enjoy the aesthetic, the, the, the cracks on the ground, the, uh, how the world looks with the trees and the decaying the actual enemies the diversity in their looks they look very different each one is very distinct they look different um they look very creepy uh, more each one more creepier than the others and have more abilities we'll get into that later um the i don't know the vibe the vibe that they're the smoky uh mysterious you know going through the fog don't know what i'm about to get into type of vibe that they're giving with this game is truly 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 captivating uh they launch you in first head first you know into a a battle at least in the demo and that part right there just gives you a great sense of how the combat works and everything which when we get into the mechanics of all this is really 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 interesting it has a different parry system and a different dodge mechanic than i've seen before uh that the windows honestly it, i don't know at first it seemed a little bit laggy but i think there's upgrades to increase like how you dodge and how you parry but it really is time sensitive um i don't really i could not spam i could not spam no matter even on the smaller difficulty level i could not spam parrying and dodging as much because i i don't know they they really really know how to attack you attack you um and you have to really know your enemies as well with that being said the combat feels great when you're on a fence when you're striking and when you're hitting with the blade the uh clashing of the blade the sounds all those stuff when you're fighting um let's not even get into how it looks when you actually execute like a special uh, move, one of those special moves that she does when she like dodges and parries and then you come back. Um, it's a whole bunch of stuff that she does that I know that we didn't get into in the demo that I'm waiting to just try out uh, on the full game when it comes out. And I really just enjoy the time they put into the mechanics and the gameplay. It really was captivating. It really brought me back. It made me want to learn. And it's a really different way of learning. It makes you want to learn from scratch, which is kind of cool because universally everybody kind of gets into a game and they kind of already know how the mechanics work this one i feel like everybody's going to universally be learning and finding new ways to do things new mechanic new mechanics and that's really what brings gaming and everything together that uh whole you know putting stuff out and people finding stuff that devs couldn't even find in their game and and looking for those stuff not glitches or bugs but general mechanics and things that you can do we could probably find some new things when the game's fully dropped <laughs> But that's just a theory. Aside from all of that, I really am just making a whole section for this because music, the soundtrack, the whole entire sound design in this game is phenomenal. A1, I, and this is just from the demo, playing and fighting along like side the music, the fact that you can even play it at, uh, or, or you know, play, yeah, play it at rest stations and stuff like that and change it, which is a real ad good addition to the game as well. A real nice, uh, she sits down and you really go through memories. I hope they don't really like 
go overboard with that when he tried to go through the story because i've seen some cut scenes in her memories i hope they don't try to like every time you sit down it could be a little tedious to go through every time cut scene or everything that you went through or uh in that matter i would i would hope it would pertain or link to a further purpose in the story um but that's just a little tidbit but yeah with all that being said the music is just phenomenal i love uh the sounds and uh like i said the clashing with the gameplay i already mentioned that the actual roaming around music uh free roam music if you will all of that encompasses just a, a real nice mix of adventure action and uh just joy because some of the music when you hear it is like it's like what this is playing while i'm being while i'm slashing these guys like it, it's not weird but it fits like a puzzle it, it fits very good and you could again you could change your song at the rest stations and stuff like that so i don't know the cellar blade i really this is my demo it feels like i'm reviewing the game but the demo itself is just great and um if you want to be technical and stuff and go back to stats it's really doing good as far as i'm um, i'm concerned i looked on a tweet it was doing like 680 80, 000 downloads um across um playstation and all that good stuff and final fantasy i believe had like 300k or something like that so it's really good for a, a game studio that's you know not really well known i guess uh known by some but not by many and we're gonna see what they have i, I mean I, I really like it and all of their things are gonna be like free all of their upgrades it's gonna be free upgrades they're not gonna be like micro they're gonna be some i believe but there's not gonna be many micro micro actions i believe don't quote me on that but uh, you can quote the tweet i uh found it's uh definitely on the twitter page on their twitter page but yeah with all that being said guys uh i'm say i'm excited for this demo i hope you guys are excited as well let me know what you guys think let me know what some problems some issues that you guys have with the game let me know if you're not even interested in the game at all <laughs> Leave a like at this video, subscribe if you're new, and we'll get on some more Stellar Blade content. Peace.